All right, guys, here we go. Showing it to you here. Look, there's never been another superhero, somebody from the future. I mean, who else could take out Darth Vader? Well, okay, maybe there's a few people. Anyway, if you hadn't seen this, you need to check it out. This is actually pretty cool, and we had fun with it. Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. Remember, the Force will be with you always. So here's another one. Sellers of the house didn't tell us the hot water heater was cracked. Number one, it's a water heater. Sellers of the house didn't tell us the water heater was cracked, then flooded my garage. Decided to upgrade it to a tankless. How'd I do? I gotta tell you what, it looks like the install's pretty clean. I don't see a lot of problems. Looks like the TMP has a drain on it. You've got valves there for flushing. Gas pop is hard popped. I love that. So many people are on the flex connectors these days. It works. The only problem I see is, man, there's a ton of primer right there. But I got to tell you, if that is the only thing you did wrong, this is a really good install. So hats off to you. It looks good, but you could maybe use a little less solder. You know, the solder, I, I mean, yeah, there's a little bit, but it doesn't look horrible. You know, this, this really isn't too bad of a job. I kind of like that, as a matter of fact. Milwaukee Power Threader, making it too easy. I tell you what, I've got one of these. And guys, let me tell you, if you have not tried one of these yet, and this is by Andrew the Plumber, I gotta tell you, I love that. That thing makes my job so easy. Now I like the fact that he's got a vice right there on the truck. I've literally got a tripod that I use, but I'm telling you, if you have the right equipment, and guys, think about that. Investing in the right equipment is gonna save you labor. That's gonna save you time, that saves you money. There's so many reasons to invest in these. I love them. Next one. This one here is posted by the Meat Sauce 88. Just finished my first water heater install. How'd I do? Man, for an HVAC tech, it looks like you did pretty good. I don't know what the water is running here, but you know what? That's no big deal. Looks like you're down in a basement area, something like that. Nobody will ever notice it until it fills up. Uh, yeah, man, that looks great. Maybe not really. 48 comments, 128 points. There you go. Camera work. This house is less than a year old and builder says nothing is wrong. What are your thoughts? Well, number one, we're holding water. That is not good. And that's March 23rd, so that was just a day or two ago. Yeah, posted 20 hours ago. Anytime your sewer line is holding water, that's not good. Can't tell about the connection there. It, I don't know why it's black right there. It may just be dark in that area, but yeah, you should never be holding water. Okay, so let's... Let's just ask a question. I got one in here, so let, let's see. So, so my neighbor just got a new 80 liter. You know, I, I'm not gonna go through all this. Let's get to the pictures. Now, I saw this the other day and I've seen this before and I gotta tell you, I love it. Number one, I love American Standard. I don't know if they did this or if somebody else just did it and came up with it, but I gotta tell you, I love it. Serial number, 4U2PN2. That's pretty that gum good. Now, as you can see, creating a drip, drip irrigation system right here, from lumpy-comfortable-98. Gotta tell you, this will work as a drip irrigation system. I don't know where he's filling these barrels from. I don't know if he's got, you know, rainwater that, that comes into it or anything. I like the fact that he's got the overflow set up right here. He's got it valved off where they could actually fill up to the top. And a lot of good things about this. Number one, I think drip irrigation, rainwater harvesting, anything like that is good. What I would have probably done, stand these up straight, tap into the side with a bulkhead fitting, come out, that way you can have a rain screen on top, catch the water, and then use it for a drip irrigation. It is wonderful. Mandalore 626, I gotta tell you, that looks like a lot of fun. Now, if you notice, he says, what I had the pleasure of dealing with all day. Yeah, when you're pulling out this much, and I can't tell if this is roots or baby wipes or what it is, you got a two-way clean out right here, so it looks like he's going in here. So this is out towards the street. You know, it's a lot of fun. It smells great. You're gonna love it, trust me. Not a water bed, not quite a bathtub either. Man. This is posted by MCPB46. I don't see how there would be water under it. But I mean, guys, look at that. That is the bottom of a fiberglass bathtub. I don't know what to tell you. Man, tell me what brand that is. I want to make sure we do not install those. Thank you, though. Now, here's a good one, too. 60 plus years of buildup, leaking strainer basket fixed and replaced the trap and everything. Man, that is wild. 
So I see the basket strainer, see the new drop, but when you look at this, I'm assuming that's the pipe that he pulled out. Man, that is wild. While my storm line's not draining anymore from Sewer Sleuth 74, yeah, when you pull that big of water roots out, I promise you, your sewer is not gonna drain very well. I saw one the other day, she had pulled a toilet and I guess she saw roots and she reached in and pulled the roots up through the flange and I guarantee she probably pulled up a six or eight foot long band of roots about this size. Guys, there's a break in there somewhere that leads to more work because now you got to get in there and change that pipe out or it's just gonna keep coming back. Pressure reducing valve on a galvanized T wouldn't stop dripping. There may be a little something on the inside of it. Not sure, you just, you may wanna check. Okay, so I like this. Posted by Al Thief 34 Hey, do you think we should fix the roof tray? Guys, man, and I don't know, when I do parking garage work or when I did, I used to always try to install the riser where cars couldn't get to it, so they'd literally have to hit the column first. There's probably no way to do that because even on the side, if they get just right in the right spot, they still can. But yeah, that's that's definitely a problem. Old houses and new bathroom remodel do not mix well. Well, they do if you will clean out the sewer first and get it all taken care of. First year apprentice plumber, nice, short, sweet, simple repairs. I gotta tell you, it doesn't look bad. I like the fact that he's got shear bands on there. Using PVC, going to it looks like cast iron. And from what I can tell, you did a pretty good job. And I guess that's before you dug it up. Like it's going into a sump pit or a septic tank. Now, I don't know why. It looks like we're underground here. I would probably have a shear band on right there. But I gotta tell you what, you know, that's a clean looking job. I don't see any primer at all. I do love to see some primer, just a little bit. I don't want too much on it, but that's just me personally. I gotta tell you, the install looks good. Okay, it says, posted by Gleepnir's Wolf three days ago. What do I need? Just a glass, you, know, you got the water running, just catch it. Or wait 45 minutes to take a bath because it'll take about that long to fill up. It looks like you take these screw handles off, take it apart, you'll have a washer in there, probably need to replace the seat, all kinds of different things, but it can all be done. Okay, now it says was in this restaurant mechanical room one time. Like you got water lines running back down here, doesn't look great, but I love all the mouse traps. I guess that's the main thing there. I didn't even realize that's what that was till we got to right here. You know, the thing is, if you got a restaurant, you got to keep the mice away. So they do what they have to do. I completely get it. At least it didn't need a shim. No, they built this right into the mortar. And I don't even know why anybody, if I was the, the plumber, I'd be mad that the mortar guy did it. It doesn't even hardly look like there's room there to get a hose on it. This just doesn't look like a lot of fun, but it is what it is. Okay, now I saw this the other day too, and I don't know if they've got a string here, and it's not a video, it's just a picture, but I gotta tell you, that looks pretty cool. I'm a plumber that used to be a bartender, so I, I, I do some water tricks. That is really neat looking though. Copper drain developed some holes at the very bottom of the stack. Uh, yes, I believe it did. Do y'all know what causes this? Why did these holes cause like this? My thought is too much flux and they left it on there. They didn't clean their joint. They may have cleaned it beforehand, but they probably didn't clean it very well afterwards. And, and I'll tell you, when you leave the flux on there like this, it can do that. So always try to clean your joints, guys. And that one was posted by Boom the Plumber, my boy Sean Strong. Good to have you in here. You know, when you go in, fix it, you go in, fix it. Not sure about the hose here. Uh, direct tie-in. Sean, let's talk about this one. Matter, matter of fact, Sean, I know you'll see this. Leave me a comment and let me know what all you did here, what repair did you make, how did you fix this? But definitely the holes in the bottom of the copper, dude, all over it. I do like the way that the, the carpenter actually angled the stud down here at the bottom to make this a tighter fit. Gives you so much room to work with there, doesn't it, Sean? Next one is Found in the Wild Landlord Special. This is posted by Lazy Basket 6863 you know, this one just looks confusing. You've got a line coming in over here, coming down. Can't tell where it goes down into. You got two P-traps tied to a T. Wrong way to do that. Can't tell where this comes in and goes. And I hope that this doesn't come in, go up and come all the way back down there. I'm hoping it goes back into the wall. There's another picture, let's see. Man, that is it, that is crazy. Okay, so I wanna show y'all. So now that I see this comes down back up and around and back out, let me tell you what's happening right here. The water level 
is always going to be right here because even though this is draining down coming up, and I say that if there's no vent over here, there may be an S trap, but this water, even though it's coming down and draining down into a P trap, it comes way up back over and down here. So really your drain level is going to be right here. So everything from here down is going to have water in it all the way over here to these baskets. Guys, that can be a problem. You know, and I'll tell you what, I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show this one here and I'm going to talk about it because this is something that I think we all need to look at as plumbers. And it says right here, more than 1 million Texans lack drinking water. I was doing research the other day. There are about six places in the United States where people live that they do not have access to clean drinking water. So guys, what I'm going to tell you is they're looking for volunteer plumbers at Plumbers Without Borders. I've talked to them before. I think Plumbers Without Borders is a great group. And there's another one called Dig Deep. And those are two organizations that I think if you're a plumber should think about joining, helping. I like the fact they're asking for volunteer plumbers. We as plumbers can make the world a better place. And I think that's a big deal. And this blows my mind that a million Texans lack drinking water. It also blows my mind that there's six areas around the United States that people don't have access to drinking water like we do every day. I'm gonna stop on that. I can't think of a better place to end. Guys, do me a favor. If you're part of Plumbers Without Borders or Dig Deep, do me a favor and let me know. I've checked into both organizations. I'm probably going to start trying to do something with Dig Deep. I really like them. And thanks to American Standard for putting this out. I think it's a great thing. If you're a plumber and you're involved with one of these, do me a favor. Leave me a comment down below and let me know how involved are you? What do you do? How can other plumbers help those organizations? Anyway, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Guys, if you like what we're doing on subreddit, please go over to Roger Wakefield Posts, put in your favorite or your worst pictures or videos of plumbing, electrical, HVAC roofing, anything in the trades. I don't just make fun of plumbers, I make fun of everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Roger Wakefield, Elite AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.